We've been looking forward to this day for a long time now. Our good friend Levi decided to stop by and spend a day and actually a night with us as well. Levi's had a one series for years and I wanted to give him a chance to experience a little bit larger tractor and just some different attachments. The first thing we're going to do is kind of a head-to-head -head comparison between two tractors. My overall goal when it gets dry enough is to move a bunch of this dirt from this end of the pond down to the other where it's lower. It's too wet to get serious about it, but I thought maybe we could do a couple scoops with each tractor here for a test for Levi. Now to provide some degree of fairness, we're going to use the same exact bucket on each tractor. This is the 57 inch heavy duty bucket. Now that wad of hydraulic hoses you see there is for the diverter. I just haven't got them plumbed together yet. But I've got them attached good enough for now. Yeah, it is too soft for to be working, but that's, you know, this is when Levi's here, so that's what we're gonna try. He realized he needs to go to low range. So what do you think so far, Levi? I like this better. I think this is better than the other one. Okay. It's probably because this is more like what I'm used to. Now you can use the regular manual throttle if you want. Well, this, this does all right. It's awful soft back here. It sure is. We've got another project going over there. We'll uh, explain that some other time. So Levi, you've, you've done the 3030AD and the 2038R, same horsepower. We used the same bucket. Which one is more tractor? This one. Okay. To me, for for picking up with the bucket, it's, you've seen the trouble I had with that. I'm the, trying to get it to, to lift that last bucket I got with that. Yep. It didn't want to lift it. Doesn't have it as didn't want to curl it. Yep. This one here does. Doesn't have as much curl power, doesn't have as much lift power. Um, I agree with you. Uh, I saw some other things too. I saw that without the bucket level indicator, you had a harder time getting right next to the ground. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Yeah and see where the bucket was low enough. So it seems like the, the bucket level indicator seems like a, a, a cheap little piece of nothing, but, but it, it really helps. Oh yeah. It allows you to visualize what's going on yeah. there. What else did you notice about either machine? This one was easier to handle. I don't know if it's because I'm, it's more to the tune of a one series, you know, as far as what I'm used to. Yeah, could be. But it How just about seems... the hydraulics? I mean, we talked the about hydraulics the are smoother. Smoother. That yeah. one there was okay. jerky. Yeah. It was more touchy. I, I had found to the just, same thing. I had just barely ease on it in order to get it to go smooth. This one here is more what I'm used to. Turning radius, that type of thing with this tractor. What'd you think of that? Was this handy enough for you? Oh yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. This is nice. <laughs> you know, you don't you don't have to ask Lucy anymore. <laughs> yeah. But I gotta <laughs> ask my hills. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So between these two tractors, if they were the same money, you'd buy this one. But what if this one were several thousand more? I would take it. I would be more comfortable in this. Because I think it is when we talk about the same configuration with the loader uh, and the tractor without any mower, I think we're still talking a little bit more money for this tractor. Now there's some advantages. You get a quick disconnect loader with this one, whereas with that one, it's the loader's always attached. Oh yeah, um, I wouldn't, I, that would be a deal breaker. Yeah. Because I'd have to take, be able to take the loader off. Now, folks, just to make it clear, the 3032E, I said it was a 303080 a minute ago. The 3032E that we have over there is going back. It's a very temporary loaner. In fact, I'm surprised Goodworks Tractors hasn't already come and got it. 
Uh, but since it was here, Levi thought he could give it a, a spin. And the 2038R, it was provided by uh, AHW LLC. Go back to our first video on that or go to our website and you can find out uh, some details on that arrangement so I don't have to go through it again. We had to contribute a lot to it, so it's not totally free. So you like this one? I like this one. Better than your 1025R? Yeah, if I had flat land. Now this one's got wheel spacers in it. It's a little extra wide. I still, I, it wouldn't be able to mow what I mow. You, uh, if you haven't seen it, we shot several episodes in Levi's, uh, uh, you would call it East Tennessee, right? Yeah. Uh, Levi has yeah. a place in East Tennessee near Elizabethton and uh, it is hilly. Um, I think you've got about 10 acres scrunched up into a five acre spot. <laughs> yeah. You know, kind of like a paper wad, right? Um, it's very hilly and uh, to that extent, you, you have to worry about hills more than any other problem really yeah. on your uh, property. It's always on the forefront. Yeah. It's always. Okay, well, Levi came to visit. We'll see if we can find some more toys. Levi's first attempt with the grapple here. We're first trying a single grapple. He's not sure if he wants a single clamp or a double clamp. So first we're gonna try a single clamp, see how he gets along with that. It takes a little practice to get used to that button, so he's experimenting with that now. Well, you can tell it's got the weight. So we're going to put it right here in this uh, underbrush for now. Try not to get it on the neighbor's property. So my first look, Levi, says this is a, a place where the second clamp would have helped you because you're about to lose that piece over on the right. Yep. So a single clamp's doing the job. Yeah. But a second clamp. I can see where a second one would be better. That's why when I first talked to you about this, I was thinking about the top, just having the one on top. Yeah. As one piece, same size as the bottom. Yeah. Or close to the same size. But I can see what you're saying too is one side will clamp down on something that's big and one will clamp down on something that's small with the same amount of pressure, same, yep. same job, uh, same operation. Yeah. Okay, well, go dump that and we'll, well, let's put on a second clamp. Christy wasn't around and I failed to get video of putting the second clamp on. Sorry about that. I think it's going to get all of it, but it might get the first one. It's going to get a lot of it if you'll drive in hard. You may need a little more. Are you in low? You are in low. Yeah, that is one thing I've found. Pick it up a little bit and tilt it over. Oh my goodness, this is a oh, load. Oh yeah, it's not going to pick it up. Drag it backwards a little bit and see what you get. Oh, right <laughs> rear is coming off. <laughs> yeah, that ain't going to work. I think I'm going to leave that for the Oh, I think you can get it. You think I can get it? You might drag it a little bit and see if you can get some dirt to come off of it. Oh. I'll rip it apart. Now if you'll come down and grab the root ball, you can carry him off. You got it.
What do you think so far? I like it. <laughs> I like this. And it's not that much to get used to. No, it took it takes a couple minutes to kind of get used to the button. Yeah. It's, it's not so much getting used to the button, it's which way to put it to close or open. Yeah, and, and I don't know, I'm sure there's an option for that. To me, I thought of dumping as releasing my load. And so to me, the, the, the dump feature made sense to open the right. teeth, the, the, the clamps. The, the, so in other words, release the, the curl, load. The curl would be the open, right? Well, I did the curl. The curl means to load. Oh, okay. The curl yeah, is to load, would, the dump is to unload. Right. That's the way I did it, but maybe yeah. Uh, yeah. other people might want it the other way. But that's all a matter of how you hook the hydraulics. Right? Yeah, you can hook it up either way. One clamp or two? I think two, for especially, you know, this kind of stuff. Yeah, did you see how I uneven think, they were? They've been clamping yeah. down totally uneven and yet right. giving a good tight clamp on each one. Right. Well, I tell you what, if you'll clean some more of this up, maybe we can get enough of it cleaned up that we can get Vinny out here and mow a little. What do you think about that? Well, let's clean it up. Let's do it. So the longer term objective here is to get all these trees out of the way and to begin to take these piles of dirt, smooth them out, and eventually get some grass to grow. If you go back to our prior videos, you could see that we dipped this mud out of the pond. We did it last winter. It's really still muddy now. It's really too muddy to work on it. We kind of wanted to get these trees out so we could start mowing here. Then the pile. We're also going to take some of this dirt and move it all the way down to the uh, other end down there where it just lays lower and, and floods. We'd like to get that all built up such that it doesn't flood. It's in the pile, it won't come out. Yeah, you don't think you can pull it? Ah, it just keeps pulling the back end up. So once you get a hold of it, uh, now, now let your bucket down, near all the way to the ground basically. Curl it back, there you go. Now back up. It ain't gonna do it. You're not getting much traction, are you? No. Yeah, I'll do that, push forward more. <laughs> That's it. That feeling of a rear end coming off the ground, you're going to feel that a lot more at the grapple because anytime you grab something that won't move, your front wheels are going to pull your back wheels off the ground. Right. And so we ha I had that one video where I showed both wheels off the ground. Yeah. It's, it's totally different than being tipsy because of a hill. It's not right. like you're going to tip over. Yeah, it's, it's just, just a, you can feel it. It's an awkward feeling, yeah. But it's easy to do anytime you grab onto something that won't move, your rear end's gonna, and it doesn't matter how much ballast you have. No, it, you, no, it's like that. See, that's buried under all that dirt. It yeah. just ain't gonna pull it out. Yeah, that's right. It ain't even moving it over there. If you can't pull it, see if you can get it pushed up on there, okay. we can at least mow along here. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And the clamps are different this time. One's way down, one's way up. Yeah. You got Johnny's feet dirty. I want you to look at them things. Yeah. They're bigger than they were. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they're yeah, loaded. They're it just sticks to them, doesn't it? Okay, you ready for Vinny? Show me how to operate it. Hey, it's easy enough for me to do. You'll have no problem. <laughs> what do you think about the grapple, Levi? I think that's probably the best tool there is. You think so? So if we call the tooth bar tractor steroids, we're gonna have to come up with another name for the grapple, aren't we? Even, yeah. even bigger. Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so this is front and back, okay? Lift is this way, lower is this way, and okay. float is where you run. Let's see if you can get us started and just steer a minute, just because the steering is weird. And just turn it left and right. Yeah, that's different. But I could get used to that. And you can put that and float before you even start it? Yeah. Now, if you want, go ahead and pick it up and let it down and you know, play with that. So it's all the way that way to pick up. I put it down and then float. Okay. I believe Levi was one of our first 50 subscribers. He said back then that he was certain he had seen every one series deer video on YouTube. Well, there are a lot more of them now, but he still might be able to make that claim. He's also a prolific commenter. Look for MI2TN. That's his handle on YouTube. He's quite simply Levi on GreenTractorTalk.com. As I mentioned, we visited Levi's house several years ago. And while we were there, we shot, I believe it was four episodes. You can check them out in our playlist named Meet Levi. Levi published a lot of detail about his Amish upbringing on GreenTractorTalk.com. With his permission, I collected all of that and published it on our website, TractorTimeWithTim.com. There's a link to that article in the description of this video, or you can just go to our website and search for Levi's Amish Childhood. Levi's mentioned the Ventrax several times. The ability to perform well on steep slopes is quite attractive to him. In fact, he's turned his 1026R over once and just recently almost turned it over a second time. The Ventrax would be a perfect mowing machine for him. That's different. Did you like it? It's not bad. I would have to get used to it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like you don't just get on it. And I mean, actually, I thought you did really well. You got on it and handled it like you were a pro, but yeah, it, it takes some time. It definitely, <laughs> I could get used to it. Now, I found there's no way to make the thing scalp. It does an incredible job mowing. It's got enough wheels on it that it yeah. won't, that's good. Yeah, it's got a wheel all the way across the back for the striping. It's got three wheels in the front, uh, and then the big two gauge wheels, so I guess it's got five wheels in front. Why don't you drive it on the hill out there a little bit? Okay. And uh, now it's not a Tennessee hill, but at least you can get a little feel for what it's like on the side of a hill. Yeah. Now we don't it's have the not. duals on, so it's not nearly as you know stable as what it would be with duals, but it's still a lot more stable than that tractor there. Yeah. This is a man-made hill. It's actually the dirt that came out of the pond. We're not too fond of it, but we don't know what to do with it yet.
Hey, Levi, we have already played with a bunch of toys. Yeah. And I think we've got a bunch more to do, but I'm afraid it's more than one episode can handle. So, Levi, you can just stay here and keep on playing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for Blue. watching, everybody. And um, thanks to Casey and Johnny and Vinny and the whole gang. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, time with, with Tim. Tim. Where did you ever find this? This is from Bluebird Turf. Uh, we saw these guys at the GIE uh, show this fall. And I went up to talk to them. I said, look, I love your sod cutter. And we got to talking. And so they decided to join the TTWT team. <laughs>